Pekan Ampang, located just off Jalan Ampang and a stone's throw away from Kuala Lumpur City Centre, is rustic with a jumble of old and new structures. The community here has started on the project to document the town's long history, preserve its century-old buildings, as well as earmarked sites to be turned into tourist spots. Concerned that many of the town's unique features were slowly disappearing, residents and stakeholders, with support from the Ampang Jaya Municipal Council, MPAJ, are embarking on a preservation project to protect what remains. Born and bred here, Lee Shokjin said there were not many surviving records left of the history of the area and its people. The 54-year-old, along with other residents and stakeholders, have set up the Persatuan Pencinta Pekan Ampang, PPPA, with the aim of preserving and developing the historical and cultural elements of the town. We need to trace out the history of uh, Ampang. So, uh, because so many Ampang people, uh, they rebuilt their building, they throw away all the old things. They did, did not keep so uh, this is the chance for us, uh, maybe we, we can keep some from them and also we urge uh, and encourage their new generation to write the history of their family or their parents, their old parents, to let the new generation know how difficult the, the old people come here and then how about their spirit to to survive. Now we encourage them to collect some old photo and maybe old photo and then write a simple uh, caption. caption. For E.Y. Leong, whose family has stayed in Pekan Ampang for three generations, the town's folk remain a close-knit community. Dulu Kampung Palu Ampang ini adalah Lompong Biji Timah. Sini pun ada banyak keturunan Orang Hakka, Hokkien, Hakka, Hokkien, ada Hakka sama Hokkien apa paling banyak lah. Kita ni pun ada lah. The 57-year-old was also the former Kampung Baru Ampang village head, which included Pekan Ampang Town. One of the more distinctive features of Pekan Ampang still standing were the century-old shop houses with colonial architectural elements. Lee said the oldest buildings in Pekan Ampang were built in 1913 and another in 1916. She fondly remembers the time where there was only one bus route in and out of the area. This the one actually uh, from the people of Kampong Baru Ampang. That time they sell uh, the anggu kue uh, during the Akau Ongya festival and sell flower to get money, fund fundraising to build this uh, building. This is the place together the old Kampong people. When we want to go KL, uh, we we waiting the bus here in front of in front of this uh, day one. Lee said the hall will soon be undergoing repairs to fix the roof that collapsed some time ago. Other notable features of the area include Ampang's first fire station in Jalan Besar Ampang. The old Ampang railway station has disappeared and in its place is the Ampang LRT station. Many of the town's places of worship have also stood the test of time. The best examples are the 160-year-old Gao Ongya Temple, known for its Nine Emperor God Festival, as well as the more than century-old Ampang Tam Kun Miu and Mi Togan Temples in Jalan Besar Ampang. Lee said they plan to organise a walking tour with Tourism Selangor, giving historic information of the place and its people. She said the tour will also include several prominent food outlets, such as the famous Ampang Yong Tau Fu restaurants and Hainanese chicken rice. A thriving industrial area is located behind the main street. Yi said handmade and locally produced furniture factories and timber shops are among the thriving industries here, especially since MPAJ rezoned it as industrial some years ago.
Meanwhile, MPAJ councillor Stella Pang Sok Fong said a blueprint has been drawn up for a more holistic and comprehensive plan to preserve Pekan Ampang. She said this included infrastructure works such as repainting the old buildings, creating a museum and art gallery and resolving flash flood issues. So I'm glad that uh, in our 2035 Rancangan Tempatan, actually so in the draft that the, the whole Jalan Merdeka will become a heritage stage planning. Yeah. It's, it's already in first draft and the second draft will, will be having more input from community. One of the significant key achievements is we need to have the Gerbang Bintu for Pekan, Pekan Ampang. Pang said they were in the midst of getting approvals needed and hoping to get them done by the end of the year.